Hi, I hope everyone is doing well. And all of the personal readings have been completed. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is in the description box. Okay, so let's get started and see what is in Divine Feminine Energy. All right, so what's going on with Divine Feminine? What is going on with Divine Feminine? So you're headed into being stable or you are stable. You could be going through some things right now, but you are sitting pretty and feeling abundant, okay? And handling it with grace and class. Like, you can't touch me. You could be seeing a lot of black birds around you at this time. What is Divine Feminine going through? What is Divine Feminine going through? You're getting to a place of peace. Could be finding your tribe as well. You could be meeting someone new with the Knight of Cups for some of you. Okay. Four of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. This is someone here who you are holding on to. This is a soulmate here, life partner. Okay. All right. So what is going on in divine masculine energy? This is definitely different energies than what I've been picking up on. So. My masculine is feeling left out in the cold with the Five of Pentacles. Could be spying, stalking, Page of Swords. Could be dealing with a water sign here. Or this is just someone that Divine Masculine loves with the Queen of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay. Six of Pentacles. Upset. Wanting the Six of Pentacles. <laughs> Nine of Swords. So why don't you have that? Someone went into hermit mode and retracted their energy. The Ten of Wands, something became a burden. Someone's sneaky behavior became a burden. Clearly, they pulled back. This was too much stress and anxiety. This could have been causing mental stress, physical stress, emotional stress, like health problems type of energy. And this person is just over it. Okay, that's the energy there. Who was this person? Who was this person? Is this Divine Feminine? Or I feel like it is with the Queen of Cups. That's a yes. It It is Divine Feminine. Okay. All right. So what does Divine Feminine need to focus on at this time? What does Divine Feminine need to focus on at this time? Chemistry and passion. With this new person that they met. Okay. Why is Twin Flame here? What's faded? Listen to your intuition, they're saying. So you could be dealing with a third party here. Okay. But something is going to occur with your twin. Um, Spirit is saying you are getting downloads about this, so pay attention. Ooh, this could be a water sign. So having a reunion, fire. That's a, there's a lot of people here. <laughs> there's a lot of people here. You could be dealing with someone who's a third party, but you could have a twin that is a water sign, okay? Or... You are a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay? You could be having a reunion with a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. You also can check sun, moon, rising placements and north node placement as well. Um, yeah, there's a lot of people here. But it could just be the people that I'm picking up on I'm reading for, okay? Any clarity around what this chemistry is with the third party? Who's the third party? 
it may be yourself or not. Some of you, it could be yourself. You're focusing on yourself and getting out of these fears. But I feel like there is definitely someone dealing with a water sign. Remember, I saw that. Yeah, some people are becoming single while others are um, going into new relationships. And it is with a fire sign. Okay. Some people are dealing with new fire signs. I mean, it doesn't matter the sign, but definitely new relationship here. And this is someone you're really attracted to, okay? So something about listening to your intuition in regards to a water sign, okay? Or your own intuition if you are a water sign. What is coming towards Divine Feminine that they may not see coming? Because this looks like a lot of people and a lot of energy. Pay attention to your energy. Take care of yourself. You're going towards new opportunities. You're being free. You're free of someone who was trying to control you. They could have been very controlling sexually. That's what they wanted to do. You're free of this person or you're going to be free of this person. You're headed into new opportunity. So embrace this. This is why you awakened. Okay. This is you're headed into a place of stability. You've been expressing your truth. You've weathered the storm. I feel like you have worked on forgiveness, and now you're going to have a renewal um, within yourself, within your life, okay? They want you to trust in the divine, trust in the timing, trust in your higher power. That is the divine, right? You are completing cycles. You could have completed a major cycle, okay? And this change created a change for you and created balance pulled you out of this comfort zone that you were in with an air sign, okay? This person kept you in the past and kept you suffering. This is what they wanted. Told you. You know this. Listen to your higher self. Spirit is saying you know this. You knew this is what. You realized through um, spirit giving you messages or communicating with the divine or communicating with family. It could have been all of that right you realize this person was toxic they wanted to keep you under their control under their thumb in the past and suffering you're free of that now this would have, this was never going to continue is what spirit is telling me this is never going to continue this person lived from their shadow lives from their shadow which is their ego they're very cold and detached underneath the mask you had courage you are courageous is what spirit is telling me you are courageous i'm hearing wounded warrior you may feel very tired and stressed out but you made a decision and it was the right one now this person this person is in a state of doubt about you because you release them. And now you are heading into a, re a reunion with someone who is very nurturing and compassionate to you. And they love you very much. And this person is in a place of guilt. Realizing that they sabotage this connection. I feel like something definitely unexpected occurred that they didn't see coming. They didn't see this coming. This was the cycle. This was the change. This was the generational curse that you changed. You broke. They didn't see this coming. Yeah, see? Mm-hmm. This is the also spirit is saying this is the reason why you had to be at a distance from this person in order to create change because this person really had you under I'm hearing a spell very controlled um, you wouldn't have gotten able to got out of it without the separation now you're free of this. Look at this energy the difference. She's being silenced. She's being abused. She's being mistreated. 
now look at this energy. Exactly. What does Divine Masculine need to focus on at this time? You need to release these toxic patterns that you have done for a long time. This separation, some of you could have went into separation in the fall because of your toxic patterns. You now need to take action and have courage and do the right thing to create stability in your life. To elevate your spirit, to have spiritual growth to become a good person. In order to resist, in order to resist loss, you have to take action now towards divine feminine. And this is, could be a fire sign or you could be a fire sign, okay? Your fears are limiting you at this time, but something is being reflected back to you, okay? Um, you need to do exactly what Divine Feminine was done, your twin. That's what I'm seeing, okay? You could be an air sign here. You're the one spying, watching. A decision needs to be made. You need to create self-love for yourself and release this karmic cycle and get out of this shadow energy, which is ego. Okay, you're not doing that. So what Divine Feminine has stepped out of the shadows and into the light and ended this chain broke the chain you need to do this as well but remember the readings that we saw before some of these people will not do this will never do this they will never step out of the darkness right um spirit is like beating the dead horse i feel like like they're telling you to trust in the divine and so you can go towards wish fulfillment there is clarity over here, but some of you will not do it. Some of you will not do this. Told you. Some of you are going to have the strength and, and make the, the action, take the chance, do it. Others of you will not. All of you are getting messages in your dreams. You could be seeing birds. Karma is trying to come in and balance things out. Source is trying to come in and balance things out, right? Whatever your higher power is, okay? Mine is God. So God is trying to balance things out. Someone's not going to realize their self-worth. Others of you will. Let's ask what the blocks may be for Divine Masculine. I don't think a Divine Feminine is going to run into any blocks, but Divine Masculine, I am feeling like a lot of blocks here. So what will be the blocks that for the ones that, well, what are some blocks that are going to come up for Divine Masculine Spirit? Renewal, Spark. So I feel like doubting. So there, the block is doubt. The block is someone else going towards someone else, right? Um, someone going towards someone else, like being, you know, having third party interference. That's a block. Being stuck, not wanting to make a decision. This is the two of swords. So definitely stuck in your mind, stuck just, you know, also an ego resisting making a chance, just sitting in the dark. Remember I said that and going towards all these third-party energies, 
right. You're just, you're deceiving yourself. Like, this is the block here. Look at this. Fears and limitations is a block. Karmic justice is a block. You you could be scared of your own karmic justice, but whether you do it or not, you're still going to receive the karma regardless. Like, you're not just going to be able. So this is a message for some of you. Some of you feel like if you don't make a decision or if you just continue down the path that you're taking, like, um, you won't receive justice. You are. Everybody gets their karma. Nobody's exempt. You're going to receive karmic justice one way or the other. This is the block. Something that you believe is deceiving you, clearly. This is the devil card in the original tarot. So clearly you're being deceived by ego, which is AKA the devil, lower vibrational energy, whatever names you want to call it, it's the same thing, okay? It's a negative energy that takes. It's all the same thing, no matter what you want to call it, okay? You can put lipstick on a pig, it's still a pig, right? That's my, that's my energy around that. Some of you are being blocked by a feminine fire sign, which I saw that the other day too. And that is like a karmic energy, right? That's like the queen of wands. <clears throat> Message for divine feminine. Message for Divine Feminine. A time to give rather than take. So this is a time to be in that Divine Feminine energy. Um, also balancing your masculine, though, because masculine is giving, right? Um, so you could be a Virgo for some of you or have it in your chart. But a time to give rather than take. So you could be feeling very abundant. So try to have compassion, okay? Communication is key. Okay, remember to communicate. Communicate is very important communication. And what do you need to release? I think we already went over that yesterday. Spirit is reminding you again, you need to release something. So you need to go ahead and let that go. And you need to remember that you are good enough. Okay, some of you may be feeling that you're not good enough. Message for divine masculines. Message for divine masculines. Message for Divine Masculines. Meditate and contemplate. New Moon in Pisces. You could be a Pisces or dealing with a Pisces. Remember, water energy comes up a lot for you. Okay, meditate and contemplate, or that can be somewhere in your chart. Okay, um, prosperity lies ahead. New Moon in Taurus. Okay, so prosperity lies ahead. If you make the right decision, show the world the real you. Stop wearing a mask, right? Prosperity lies ahead if you show the world the real you. If you continue to wear the mask and, to, and continue to be deceitful to you and others, then pride is going to get in your way. Don't let pride get in your way. That's ego. Then you're going to be just stuck on a freaking ego train, right? What happens if this person, if this divine masculine does not make the right decision? I am going to be using a different deck. They want me to tell you what karma you're going to be receiving. I'm just a messenger. Don't shoot me. What is Divine Masculine, if they stay in their ego, what's going to occur? A personal issue will reach resolution. But clearly, this is full moon in Cancer. Some of you could be a Cancer. Um... A personal issue reaches resolution. So it's not going to be a resolution that you want, though. A new start is coming. So a new start is going to, if you continue on your ego path, a resolution will happen. And guess what? I don't think it's going to be the outcome you want. So what will occur with this new start if they make the wrong choice if they continue down the path of ego what will this new start entail separation and longing you will continue to be separated you will continue to be with other karmics 
you may continue to be with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So you'll just continue this water energy, continue this um, karmic cycle will just continue. Epiphany. I think you know that. Epiphany for you, masculine, you're going to live in disharmony and conflict forever. Okay. All right, let's see what your karma is going to be. The karma train. There's no escaping this. This is going to happen if you make the right decision or not. Spirit wanted me to tell you. So um, this isn't for everybody. Okay. You clearly know if you're the one doing this or not. Okay. So um, what's the karma for this divine masculine? If they continue, well, it's... Spirit is saying it's not if they continue, you're going to get this regardless. This could already be happening to you. So what is the karma? Something may occur in a family room. Could be a conversation. Could be something that happens. They want me to zero in on this, so let me take a look. Could happen on the 21st, they're saying. Okay. Or something could occur with someone who is 21. Or you could have met this person last year. You may like tea. You may be a tea drinker. You may pour some tea and have the fire going. So I feel like this is going to happen very quickly, um, meaning this month. You could be having a conversation. Yeah, see, 1221. You could be having a conversation with a privileged lady um, in your family room. Privileged lady just means that she's wealthy, right? She's privileged. Um, okay, what is it? This is karma. This is a false person. So you're having, you're going to be having a conversation with a privileged lady who is a false person um, in the family room. Okay. So let's go. The karma. Something about an expectation. So this person is going to discuss with you something that they expected from you. That perhaps maybe you didn't deliver. Or you, I'm hearing fucked up. 28 could be significant. Okay. What is the karma? Poverty. So some of you could be wealthy now and you're going to be poor. Thirteen and thirty-seven is significant. If you keep seeing the number thirteen, this is about you. Um you could be dealing with someone who is 37 or this is the person that you fucked over is 37 and this is why this was going to occur when this person turned 37 or is 37. What is the 13 significant to? I feel like this is number is significant to you in some way it has something to do with a house. Maybe you were given a house or this represents your family 13 represents your family in some way a house this is someone who has money this is definitely a wealthy person a wealthy male okay there's empires back here so this could be like generational wealth like you could have had family members who were generationally wealthy okay but now this ends with you this is done. There is no more wealth for you because of what you've done. Um, this isn't something, this is coming soon. This is going to happen in the distant horizon. This isn't actually imprisonment because adjudication didn't come out with it, but this is stop. This is a cease. Cease. This is a stop. You are will no longer have money. Um, the reason for that, this is something that, this is really um, heavy. You're not going to be able to see clearly. You're not going to be able to see clearly your path after this occurs. You're going to be like, what the hell? What am I What am I doing now? Five could be significant. So you could have done something to someone for five years, right? We have 35, 36, 37. Some of you, it could have been three years that you did this to someone. Um, but those, year, those years or ages could be significant. You can't see your path, okay? But what's coming to an end is some whatever courtship you wanted or tried to have 
spirit is saying this will no longer, this is no longer an option. This is over. It's done. Something about a mature woman could have stole something. So I feel like a mature woman, if you were speaking with a mature woman who was giving you advice, this mature woman could have stole this connection from you. Or helped you steal something from someone? What was stolen? I feel like this is the privileged lady. Because that's she's coming in as a false person. She could be a business partner to you. This person could have saw a message and this raised concerns. 33 could be significant as well. You are mature male. Yes. You are also going to have bad health. You are a mature male with bad health. So you, you are experiencing bad health as well as financial issues. I know that was not what some people wanted to see, but if you... I heard live by the sword, die by the sword. So if you're one who is out here doing black magic or doing wrong against others, you know, being ruthless towards people and doing all this stuff, you know this was going to come back. Okay? You know this, right? But if you are being a good person and this isn't your story, this isn't your story. No need to be scared. Okay? If this is you and you've been out here doing this type of stuff, then that's it. You already know. Okay? I don't have to say anything about it. So what is the relationship that will no longer be? That they may keep trying to happen, but the spirit is saying, no, this is never going to happen. It's a star crossed. Remember, we kept pulling that card. Star crossed. Yeah. This could be a younger earth sign that you may have wanted to um, have the Ten of Pentacles with. Spirit is saying no. This is a karmic cycle that has ended. There was too much conflict, two of cups. For some of you, you could be a karmic. For some of you, this person was a karmic, okay? For others, this was just a cycle where too much has happened. Five, remember that number? Now five of wands, this number comes out again. You could have done this to somebody for five years. You could have had five people after this person. There's just, you've done too much damage, Spirit is saying, for you to deserve this person. You're not balanced. This person is more balanced without you. Um, you created a lot of mental confusion for this person and caused this person to be very guarded emotionally. This is why this is not allowed anymore. Death. Nine of Swords. Too much hurt. Could have been a Virgo with the Hermit card. This person has healed. Okay, they may have told you they healed, or you may know this from that stalking card, and now they are in their Nine of Cups. They are getting their justice, which is the Nine of Cups. Okay, so what is the justice that, the, that this individual, that this feminine is receiving for doing what they were supposed to do and doing the right thing? What, is, what are they receiving now? What is their Nine of Cups that I just saw them receiving? The Ace of Pentacle, okay? They're receiving the Ace of Pentacle. They're receiving financial abundance. They're receiving stability. They're receiving good health. You wanted them to stay in the hangman energy. That may have been your purpose. That could have been something your family had done for many generations, and this is why they received wealth. And this is why I could have saw the mature woman stealing. This could have been something that you were destined to do. Um, like being the ops. <laughs> right? Like you could have had two, you could have had an opposition in your family that wanted you to do wrong. 
um, but you were given a chance to redeem your family and you didn't. You tried to keep a divine feminine in a hangman position. And she got loose, jumped down, and started moving and moved forward and balanced her energies. Black and white is uh, divine masculine and feminine. She did it all by herself. While you were being sneaky, could be trying to hurt her in some way, manipulate her, spying, stalking, whatever you were trying to do with that Seven of Swords energy. Um, you were trying, and this came out with the heart, right? So Ace of Cups. I feel like you were trying to manipulate whoever this energy is was trying to manipulate the Divine Feminine emotionally, and it did not work, okay? I feel like this Divine Feminine is dealing with a water sign here now with the Page of Cups. That is a younger water sign. This is a high-level soulmate, Two of Cups, the Sun. This person is very positive, Ten of Cups. This is emotional fulfillment for the Divine Feminine. And this is her peace. Three of Cups. Also, two plus three is also five. Mm. So, I don't know what five is, but five is significant. Five, five, five means change. Maybe that's what Spirit is trying to say. Um, this was the change that was, that, that occurred. This was the change because of everything that was involved. Whew. Somebody could have said, oh, that's never going to happen when pigs fly. Because the devil is very egotistical. The devil is very narcissistic. The devil thinks he is number one. No. The devil is a liar. The devil made you think you were going to have the Ten of Pentacles and you didn't. Now you have bad health and the Five of Pentacles. Whew, I was not expecting that to, all that to come out. That was a lot of messages. Um... You guys need to move forward, move on, and vibrate higher, make better choices.